Welcome back. I'm Jacob Russo. After a heartbreaking loss to Baylor last week, the Iowa State Cyclones were hoping to bounce back with another Big 12 matchup. This time, they were taking on the TCU Horned Frogs. Let's head out to Jack Trice Stadium to see how this one played out. First half, Cyclones on the goal line to play action pass. Brock Purdy to Chase Allen. ISU has got themselves the lead. Then TCU with the ball now. Max Duggan, he's a Iowa native. He's going to get strip sacked. Ioma Uwazarike is there for the scoop and score. Cyclones go up big and they'll just keep on scoring. Purdy to Charlie Kohler down the sideline, the tight end. Nobody near him. Iowa State running away with this one. Second half now, Purdy's going to call his own number for this one. He's in for the rushing touchdown. Iowa State's offense was clicking today. They'd go on to beat the Horned Frogs 49-24. to and moving on to Ann Arbor, number 14, Iowa, visiting number 19, Michigan. And things were not going well early for the Hawks. Makai Sargent fumbles on the very first play of the game. The Wolverines recover. They would end up getting a field goal after the turnover. Later on, Michigan with it, Zach Charbonnet plunges into the end zone for a touchdown. And Iowa finds themselves down 10 to nothing. And the woes just keep on continuing. Nate Stanley's pass is going to get picked off by Ambry Thomas. Stanley had three INTs on the day. The Hawkeyes just could not get it done today. They fall for the first time this season, 10 to 3. The final.